day everyone, I'm Erica Eugenio Hamias, BSC2 Filipino, and I'm here to share with you my thoughts about considering the different social, philosophical views, and 21st century education as an anchor in the four pillars. The pillars have specific objectives, to lead people throughout life education, to walk the path of self-knowledge, to develop personality in an integral way, consolidate team spirit, creativity, and respect for differences, to awaken from an early age the awareness that an education based on the four pillars of knowledge will form the leaders of the future. The conclusion that closes the work shows that the current evolution of society opposite the production machine is demanding new procedures of the absorption of knowledge, making coexistence and social dimension in this age of knowledge. Because the process of learning to think is a lifelong one that can be enhanced by any kind of human experience, the teacher role under learning to know is to be facilitator, catalyst, monitor, and evaluator of learning. Knowledge acquisition is a never-ending process that can be enriched by all types of experience. The development of memory, imagination, reasoning, problem-solving, and the ability to think in an coherent and critical manner are all part of learning to know. It's a discovery process which takes time and entails delving deeper into the information, knowledge, provided object teaching. Learning to do this learning pillar emphasizes the application of what students have learned or know in the classroom. It is closely linked to vocational teaching education and work skills training. However, it goes beyond developing narrowly defined skills for doing specific things or performing practical tasks in traditional or industrial economies. Human labor is becoming increasingly immaterial in the emerging knowledge-based economy. Learning to do necessitates the development of new skills, which are more behavioral than intellectual. Human qualities and inter interpersonal relationships are becoming more important than material and technological advancement. Learning to live together. It entails an education that follows two parallel paths. On one level, the discovery of others, and on another, the experience of shared purposes throughout life. It entails developing qualities such as knowledge and understanding of self and others' appreciation of diversity of the human race and an awareness of the similarities and interdependence of all humans. Empathy and cooperative social behavior in caring and sharing. Respect of other people and their culture and value system. Capability of encountering others and resolving conflicts through dialogue and competency in working towards. Learning to be. Learning to be can thus be interpreted as learning to be human through the acquisition of knowledge, skills, and values that promote personality development in its intellectual, moral, cultural, and physical dimensions. This implies a curriculum aimed at that developing qualities of imagination and creativity as well as universally shared human values and aspects. Memory, reasoning, aesthetic sense, physical capacity, and communication, communication social skills. Developing critically thinking and exercising independent judgment and developing personal commitment and responsibility are all aspects of personal person's potential. It should be noted that the four pillars of learning apply to all stages and areas of education. The mutually support and interpenetrate one another and such as should be used as basic principles, cross-cutting teams, and generic competencies for integration in and across subject areas of learning domains. 